Welcome to Cooking for Real. I was looking over my past videos and realized I've never done pot roast. And since it's a cold, wet, rainy New England day here, I thought it was the perfect day to start off a nice traditional New England pot roast. So here we have a Dutch oven. This is actually, believe it or not, oven safe. And I have preheated the oven to 275 degrees. As you can see right here, I have a little olive oil going in this pan. And to this olive oil, we are going to add onion and garlic. We're going to get that sauteing. In this small pan, I have two tablespoons of butter. And once that melts down, I'm going to add two tablespoons of flour. This will be the base of my roux. What we are looking for here is for this to brown and soften and caramelize. It's, uh, I don't know, about a quarter of the way there. So let's, we'll do the magic of television thing and we'll come back when this is complete. The idea with a roux is um, you want the same measurements. So you want one, if you are doing one tablespoon of butter, then you do one tablespoon of flour. I'm doing two and two because I'm looking for a nice thick broth. So we're just going to incorporate this flour well into this butter. Now you can see that the onions and garlic are coming along nicely. They are not ready yet. Now once this is at a state where I like it, I'm going to take this broth and add it to this paste. See, it's bubbling nicely now. Now I'm going to take this beef broth and we're going to stir and combine this and let it cook a little. All right, so now what we're going to do, now that they are cooked, we're going to take them off. and hold them because now we're going to we're going to brown off the carrots and the potatoes. I have gone ahead and pulled those potatoes off and you can see that there's just a slight brown on it. We weren't trying to cook them all the way. We have a well salted and peppered roast this is a chuck roast. I actually signed up for a service called Moink. So it's coming straight from the farm to my table. This chuck roast I need to sear on all sides. There it is, my beef stock mixed in with the roux. It is a little thicker and everything is incorporated. So I'm going to turn off the heat and save this for uh, a couple steps away. Now that we have a nice sear on this roast, Really, I just browned it on all sides. This is the time that we add all of those vegetables back in. And now that lovely gravy is going right on top. Gonna move this around a little bit. Turn off that burner. The lid is going on, and this is going into a 275 degree oven and just left alone for a good three and a half hours. Well, I've just pulled that out because I completely forgot about my herbs. These are fresh from my garden. I have savory, oregano, parsley, um, and sage, and I tied it into a bundle. I'm just going to tuck it down in here and let it do its thing. And maybe I'll just place it on top. And now into the oven. Trust me, we only lost about 30 seconds there. Here it is, fresh out of the oven. We're going to let this sit and rest a few minutes 
while I get some uh, biscuits in the oven and then uh, we'll plate this up and see how it looks. I want you to see that I have sliced this up now and put it right back into the broth. I, I made rather large chunks and uh, it smells amazing. I can't wait to plate it up. We'll see how this tastes. Look at it, it's beautiful, beautiful. Thank you for joining me on Cooking For Real today where I made a nice traditional standard recipe pot roast for you. As you can see, it was actually a very simple thing to do. It's just very time consuming while you, while you wait for it to slow roast in the oven. But you'll find it's the flavors you remember and the thing that you're craving on a cold, rainy day. Mm -hmm.